Welcome back, <laughs> welcome back everyone, and this is Unwise DJ. We're going into episode four now. If you haven't watched other episodes, I would say go back now and watch them before you watch this. Um, and uh, there's a special episode that 400 days episode after episode five. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump in. So like, hopefully I can do episode five today too if I don't have nothing else to do. Um, you know, about to see the previous, really what happened in last episode, and enjoy, and I'll talk as much as I can. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Just get in. Ouch. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit. She's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Sorry. Had to drink some more juice real quick. <laughs> Let's get this started. My voice is made. My voices. My voice may change to different types of voices. Hold on. Speaking. The Walking Dead. It's here. Oh, I hope I don't mess up. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up! Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? 
Someone's up there. Are you sure? Ooh, I don't ninja. see anything. Just kidding. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! Dang. I'm doing pretty aggressive right now. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! <laughs> what? Okay. God damn it! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Ah! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go, now! I'll be fine. Just go! Dad, and like a second after he said that. I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, that's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. They can smell blood. <laughs> right. I'm gonna talk to her. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, yes. you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be- No offense. But you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Looks like something was buried here. 
just a doghouse. Let's see. Ooh. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Nope. Shovel is never not useful. Let's see. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. <clears throat> How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Okay. The way to... I won't be able to bust through that. Oh, hold on. Okay. Ben. Yeah, I'll talk to you real quick. It's going to put some sense into you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear Ooh. you. I'm gonna go check things out. Be dead ass. All right. I'm gonna beat you, man. Beat you. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Bust through. Look up. Let's see. Actually, let's go dig up whatever's over here. Don't think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house first. Let's see. Just a doghouse. Well, this might be one of those things where I'm like stuck here for a second. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold <coughs> out here. Sorry, I doubt a little bit. Okay. Damn. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Uh. Oh. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Why did oh, it shit. let me dig up? Every the day's a school day. Alright, so where's the dog?
Hmm. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Never heard of a zombie dog on Walking Dead. What's buried down there? Don't know yet. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. <laughs> Let me work. Oh, God, the smell. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? This falls right I'm fine, off. Honey. It's just the smell. tender meat. Are you sure you're? I said I'm fine. Okay. Anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. That's where it's coming down. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? <laughs> yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Okay. Now, for the moment of truth. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. More I'll feel search. better when we know that for sure. 
We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Sir, All still. right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. I'm upset because you can't help me with search styles. Okay, let's see. All empty. No power. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'll search everything before I. Hi, great family. Not exactly my style. Looks like a torture going on there. <laughs> hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. Feel you. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Okay. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Okay. <clears throat> Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. I'm gonna make you drink it, bruh. I'm like, pick it up so uh, Must have stopped can... working a while ago. Oh, my computer's about to die. There we go. My light just came off. Nothing hiding in here. Tactic. through. All clear in here. <clears throat> Just one more to check. I still got that wrench or that uh, train wrench. On the left. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> A mom. Well, place ain't got much. 
We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was That'll just work. asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Uh... Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? Down. I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Just gonna slowly creep my way up the stairs. Kenny? Is there a zombie baby? Kenny, you okay, man? Is that a zombie baby? <coughs> oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh. like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know, I just... Oh, God. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. <laughs> Gotta help him, man. We should <coughs> I'll take care of it. Thank you. 